Hey guys, it's Nathan with Curious Tech World, and today I have a video on replacing a hard drive in an HP Pavilion laptop. This laptop is about uh, 2017, so there's nothing wrong with it except that the hard drive has failed. And it uh, has slowly failed over a period of time, as spinning disk hard drives do. And it has 8 gigs of RAM on board, it has an Intel i7 processor running at 3.5 gigahertz, but because the hard drive has failed and it has slowly failed over time, it's led the owner of this laptop to believe that maybe the laptop's just at its prime. It's no longer usable. And that's, that's something I see time and time again, but that's not the case. In fact, if you just replace the hard drive with an SSD, you may find out that you've brought new life to an old device. Now, when it comes to the spinning disk hard drives, they don't just work, 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 and then fail. They usually slowly start to have issues. Your performance on your laptop will continue to degrade over a period of time to the point where it just then one day stops working. And that often leads people to think, all right, well, maybe there's nothing that can be done here. Maybe it's just time for me to buy a new laptop. And what's interesting today is that if you go to the store and you buy a new laptop, more often than not, the specs will be either the same or they might even be less because the manufacturers have realized that they can get away with putting less powerful processors and less RAM into a computer and make up for it with a faster disk. So by taking your current laptop and putting an SSD in there, you might actually find that you have a, a more powerful computer than something that you can go to the store today and purchase off the shelf. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so step one will be to flip the laptop over and slam it on the desk. Okay, don't slam it on the desk. But uh, you're gonna wanna remove the rubber covers off of the bottom where the feet are there. Um, the, the rubber feet are covering uh, screw points on the cover and you're gonna see that a lot on HP laptops. And out of the HP laptops that I've worked on, the screw placement, it varies greatly. So I don't think you can say, you know, these screws are going to be here, this, these screws are going to be there. Um, it seems pretty random to me, it just whatever works for HP. Um, there is a screw in the middle of the bottom of the case, and that's actually going to hold the back end of the CD drive in there. And I'm going to pull the CD drive out. You can see that hole that's kind of in the middle of the bottom of the, the case there. That's the screw that anchors the CD drive in place. They do make a, a plastic case opening tool, and I don't happen to have one with me on this video, but um, you will want something to kind of wedge the case open. Once you get a little bit of a wedge into the case and start prying uh, open the case, you break the snap clips. Don't actually break them, but you're going to disconnect them. You can start using your fingers, and I recommend just using your fingers and carefully applying pressure. You will have to apply kind of firm pressure to release these snap clips. Um, but, you know, use a little tool here and there if you have to. But don't, you know, you're gonna, it's going to feel like you're doing some damage to it. Obviously, you don't want to overexert it, but you do want to be kind of forceful. So once you have the cover off, you just place that somewhere. And then we are going to go ahead and <clears throat> remove the battery because the battery is still supplying power to the laptop. We don't want the laptop to power on while we're doing this. And we don't want to accidentally arc something uh, across the circuit board because that could cause damage. Okay, so now that we've taken the battery out of the laptop, we're ready to go ahead and replace the hard drive. 
Now, sometimes the hard drives will be held in with screws. In this particular case, the hard drive is held in with a couple of little rubber wedges. They're not attached to the drive in any way other than just friction. Once we pull the drive out, we'll disconnect the SATA and power connector, and we'll take the little wedges off. And that's all it is to remove the drive. Now we have to put the new one in. So I'll open the box and then we'll just kind of do everything in reverse. So I'll put the little wedges back on, reconnect the power and SATA connector. I'm just going to slip it back down into the little slot that it was in. And after that's seated, we're ready to go ahead and put the battery back in. And now we're just going to grab that lid, we're going to put it back on there, and all those little snap clips that we had to break, I've now got to push them down back in place, lock them in place. You just got to apply some firm pressure around the outside edges of the case, and you know you want to make sure that you get all of them, and it, sometimes it's, it's visually noticeable if it's not locked in place. You might see like a ripple in the plastic. Um, so you just want to make sure that you get every little clip back where it needs to be. And then you're ready to put the screws back in. And make sure you put the drive, the disk drive back in and the screw that anchors it. Although, yeah, most laptops nowadays, they don't even have disk drives. And put the feet back on it. Okay, so it's now time to load the new hard drive up with an operating system. I use the Microsoft Media Creation Tool, uh, which you can find on the, on the internet, to give me a Windows 10 installation disk. And I just plug that in. It boots right off the flash drive. Sometimes you might have to go into the BIOS and tell it to boot off the flash drive, but this is just going to do it automatically for me. And once we get that loaded up we just follow through the prompts and we select the drive we're gonna go ahead and create new partitions we're just gonna select new and then you follow through the prompts and you have yourself a fully functioning laptop I hope you guys found this video informative and useful. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.